Well, hello everybody, I'm Jack and welcome to this channel which is all about giving you some real knowledge in order for you to elevate your guitar playing. So today in this lesson we're going to learn about the one string minor scale. I'm also going to give you some exercises in order for you to memorize the scale. I'm also going to teach you how to be able to find the scale anywhere on the fretboard. So if you're ready, let's go! First, what is a one string minor scale? Well, I'm going to give you a secret. It's a minor scale, but played on one string. So why do we have to learn it? Well, because I said so. Okay, joke aside, it's really important to learn that scale because it opens up so many opportunities to play melodically in ways that we cannot do using a box pattern. For instance, we can shift positions really, really fast we can come up with different melodic ideas that include very technical stuff like legato, tapping, slides, slurs, just to name a few. No wonder why so many huge guitarists use this scale, such as Guthrie Govan, Steve Vai, Andy Timmons, just to name a few. For the sake of the example, we're going to play in A minor. So I'm going to play the one starting from the A note, second fret on the G string. This A note is called the root note, and you can see it in red on the diagram. This A note can also be found on the 14th fret. This one is called an octave higher than the A on the fret number 2. We'll play the scale starting from A and finishing on A. And we can also descend the scale and play it backwards. Very good. If you're familiar with the one string minor scale and you think you already got it, then please check out that other video above where I give you some really melodic clicks that you can use right away. However, if this is new to you, buckle up, it's going to get really interesting. I advise you to use my fingering, but you're free to use yours if you think mine are not really good for you. We're going to start with the first finger on the A note, then the third finger on fret number four, and the fourth finger, the pinky, on fret number five. That's my pattern here. And we're gonna repeat this pattern starting on fret number seven. Using the exact same fingers. Then we're going to end it with the first finger on 12 and the third finger on 14. One more time. Really, really good. Try it out a few times just to get those shapes down. And we can move on to the exercise number two. I call this exercise a three notes grouping, which means I will be playing three notes at a time, playing along the scale. In order to make myself clear, I'll be playing the example for you and you can follow along with the tabs. Again, I advise you to use my fingering if this is new to you. Oh, and by the way, you can download the tabs for this lesson. I've written everything out for you. All you have to do is click on the link below and sign up. You get the tabs for this lesson as well as all the other lessons for free. This is amazing. Okay, we can spice things up and play the same three note grouping exercise. However, this time we can slide into the third note. Even better, you can hammer on into the second note and slide into the third note. Let me show you how we can use this three note grouping thing in context, which I'm going to do right now.
amazing job if you got this far. I still have one thing to teach you, and this is about finding the scale everywhere on the neck. If you look at the diagram below, the root node is in red. We have a root node at the beginning of the scale, and we have a root node at the end of the scale. Now, this scale is a cycle, and it keeps repeating. Meaning, if I'm ascending the scale from the root node, you start from the left, which is this one. If you're descending, starting from the root node, you start from the second one, which is on the right. That being said, and if, for instance, we want to play the A minor scale on the B string, well, first we got to find the root node, and in this case, it's fret number 10. From here, we can ascend the scale, or we can descend it. So let's take a look at the diagram. While descending, the next note after the root note is two frets below, which in this case will be on fret number eight. From here, and if we want to continue playing downwards, the following note will be also two frets below on fret number six. And we keep doing this until we get to the open string. Now, equipped with that knowledge, you can actually find the A note anywhere on the neck and you can play the scale however you want. And you don't have to start only from the root note, you can start anywhere within that scale. And my assignment to you, if you want to do it, is to find the A minor scale on each and every string. That should be fairly easy. Well, that's all I have for you today in terms of this YouTube lesson. Of course, we can go deeper into the subject, but that will be for another day. I just want to tell you that I own a guitar school where I live, where I teach hundreds of students to find their passion on the instrument, whether through improvisation, writing songs, covering songs, learning technique, or all of that, we've got them covered. And since we've been seeing so many great results, I finally decided to share my knowledge with the world especially during these hard times with COVID and everything happening around us. If you enjoyed this lesson, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, download those tablature and PDF, practice well, and until next time, take care.